The Go Battle League is a major part of Pokemon Go. Throughout every season, several players try for the highest ranks, as many exclusive rewards are tied to them. Yet most players will typically go into the Go Battle League completely blind, without realizing certain best practices will lead to more victories. Thus, I wanted to compile several tips from some of the best battlers in the Pokemon Go community, all into one video so that you can elevate your ranks in the Go Battle League. Alright, so with all that said, let's roll the intro and get right into it. How's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count, and in today's video, I'll be going over the essential tips for elevating your ranks in the Go Battle League. What's different about this video compared to my other essential guide videos is that the tips in this video came from the top battlers and Go Battle League content creators that are all across the internet. Each of these players are either former or current top ranked players, or players who are active in the Go Battle League and its community. Before I dive into it, I just want to give a huge shout out to the following trainers for contributing to this video. I'll link to their channels and social media pages down in the description below, so be sure to check them out after this video. Now before we dive into these tips, I have to start this video with a few bits of info. I will be using some general terminology that is commonly used by veteran players, but not everyone might be familiar with them. So here is a quick rundown on some basic terms and aspects of Pokemon Go battling that you will hear about in this video. First, we will be bringing up the term meta quite a lot. The meta is referring to a list of available Pokemon which are considered the most ideal Pokemon to use in the Go Battle League. If you hear someone use the term meta, then they are referring to what the top Pokemon are for battling. Next, we will be talking about type advantages and disadvantages. This is referring to the typing of your Pokemon and whether or not it will be strong against another Pokemon's typing. For example, a fire type Pokemon will deal more damage with fire attacks against grass type Pokemon, but at the same time, those fire attacks will deal less damage to a water type Pokemon. This is pretty much common knowledge for almost every Pokemon Go player, but understanding Pokemon typing is crucial for the Go Battle League, thus why I begrudgingly have to include it. We will also be talking about fast moves and charge moves. These are obviously the attack moves of your Pokemon. Fast moves are used freely as you tap on the screen, and they are used to charge up your charge moves, which are more powerful attacks. Finally, we will also be bringing up shield baiting. The act of shield baiting is simply to use a lower energy cost charge move in order to trick your opponent to use one of their shields in an inefficient manner. This will free up your Pokemon to use a more powerful charge move. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump into the first tip on how to improve in the Go Battle League, and this tip comes from the one and only King. King is, of course, one of the best battlers in Pokemon Go, and he even gets recognized by Niantic themselves. If there is anyone I would look to for improving in the Go Battle League, it would certainly be King. So here is what he has to say. For newer players, his number one advice is to use the website pvpoke.com. This website is, in fact, one of the best resources out there for battlers. Not only can you view the current rankings of the best Pokemon to use, but you could even run simulated battles with your teams to try them out before jumping into the Go Battle League. If you are serious about getting higher ranks, or you simply want to know what Pokemon you should be investing your Stardust into, then this website is going to be your absolute best resource. Now, I tend to agree with King that this is probably the most important tip that a pro player could give to a novice player. If you are not utilizing this website every day, then you are most certainly going to fall behind as a battler. Next, we'll hear from Trainer Rem, who is a Twitch streamer that consistently hits the top ranks every season. He says one of the most important aspects of battling is to count fast moves. Learning to count fast moves and predicting which charge moves may be used could be the difference of using a shield efficiently or not. 
Every single charge move requires a specific number of fast moves, thus if you consistently count the number of fast moves an opponent is using, you can determine whether or not they have enough energy for a hard hitting charge move, or if they fell short and are trying to shield bait you. Familiarizing yourself with fast moves and charge moves could be just as important as familiarizing with type advantages and disadvantages. After all, most battles will be played around charge moves. Now if you are unfamiliar with how many fast moves are necessary for each charge move, you can check out this particular Twitter user who frequently posts infographics with this information. Doing some research in this particular area of battling will vastly improve how you play against certain matchups. Another important tip that Trainer Rem shared involves team compositions. More specifically, he states that one of the best ways to get ahead in the Go Battle League is to learn what common team compositions exist so that you can predict the second and third Pokemon that your opponent may use. For example, if your opponent is leading with a Grass type, there is a very high possibility that they will have a Fire or Flying type counter alongside it. If it's a Fighting type lead, then they might have counters to what counters fighting types in the back. Properly reading your opponent's team based on the lead Pokemon could better prepare you for the entire battle. I actually like this tip quite a lot and has personally helped me a good amount. Based on the lead Pokemon, you could potentially predict what the opponent's other two Pokemon could be, and you can switch to powerful counters based on that. Of course, this will require some research on team compositions, so make sure you are looking at various resources on what the best teams are out there in the current meta. Next, let's take a tip from the one and only Pope Dave. He states that just because someone uses a team and succeeds with it, whether it be one of your opponents or a content creator, doesn't mean you will find immediate success with it yourself. Every team takes a lot of practice in order for you to understand what to expect, how your opponents may play into it, and how you can utilize the charge moves to bait shields or knock out key opponents. This is absolutely crucial if you are looking to get ahead in the Go Battle League. It's very easy to fall into the trap of creating a very popular team than having no clue how to properly use it in actual battles. I've certainly done this myself to my own detriment. If you have a solid team that has a lot of type coverage, is a solid answer to the current meta, and properly set up with the right CP and moves, make sure you don't give up on it if it doesn't initially succeed. Some teams could take dozens if not hundreds of matches to get used to, so even if you don't have a winning record right away after creating a new team, just keep going at it until you are familiar with every scenario that team goes up against. It's really how you could dominate the Go Battle League with just one or two teams. This tip is further emphasized by the Twitter user and Season 1 Rank 10 player Arib, who states that you shouldn't change teams too often and should rather focus on learning the matchups. Okay, so now we have reached the final tip that I will be highlighting in this video, and it comes from one of the best Pokemon Go battling content creators, and of course I'm talking about none other than Zionic. With his permission, I will be playing a clip from one of his best videos on how to select the best Pokemon to use for the Go Battle League. All right, so team building, right? It's a tough thing to really dive into if you haven't experienced it yet or don't know really where to start. But there's a simple formula that I love to use and I apply it to all of my teams. And that is going to be the lead, the cover, and the safe swap. Teams in Pokemon Go are built on three Pokemon and whatever you decide to lead with, you always need protection in the back. That's what that cover is, the hard cover. But you also need something called a safe swap. Now what a safe swap does is if you lead let's say a water type pokemon like blastoise and you face off against a venusaur which is going to be a lead loss you guys want to swap into a counter that is what we call a safe swap this will provide you great mid game advantage it'll not only counter that lead pokemon you faced off against but it has potential to get shields from your opponent or flip the fight if they bring in a different pokemon so there you have it everyone, these were some of the best tips and tricks for getting ahead in the Go Battle League, but let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Which of these tips did you already know about? What tip was new to you? Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if it's your first time here. I am Count Jinsula, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.